I'm, I'm Staff Sergeant James Lynch. I'm the task force team chief here. Uh, so the team chief's specific job is really just to direct the team on site. The real work's done by the guys. I mean, they're, I'm just sitting there with pom-poms most days, like cheering them on and they're doing the actual dirty maintenance, getting their hands dirty, busting knuckles. I'm here with a, a comprised team of a couple different agencies. There's, there's about 17 of us in total. We have our side of the house that's just MMT. So there's a five man team coming from us. We have our own NCYC and our own OIC. And then we have the MUNS guys that also come down here, the MHT guys that come down and actually put the missile in the hole. Then we have our, our commander as well. He's kind of overseeing the entire task force. And then we have our own capsuleers down here as well that are gonna actually be turning the keys on launch night. Everybody is kind of like specialized in their own role in MMT. So we can't just have like a topsider who are the guys that drive the big white truck come down and do things on a bomb downstairs. Like everybody is specifically trained for their role. The guys that do this day in and day out, they're the, like the epitome of not all heroes wear capes. I mean, they're, again, they're doing this 16 hours a day, sometimes three or four days a week. And they're, whatever the conditions are up north, whether it's 40 below or it's hundred degrees out, they're getting sunburned, they're still getting it done. So we have the best people in the business doing the best job in the world and they're getting it done every day. My name is Lieutenant Travis Evans. I currently serve as a 13 November missileer up at Malstrom Air Force Base in the 10th Missile Squadron. Because our job is 24-7, 365, we need to be ready at any time. So it's a big factor in um, how we train. We need to practice like we play so that whenever the president authorizes us to carry out our job, we are able to do that on time and effectively. As we've gotten closer to the launch night, it kind of sets in more that there aren't many people that have actually been given the opportunity to give that final key turn on a test missile and uh, knowing that we're able to do that tomorrow and that we're gonna contribute directly to the mission and the test mission is very rewarding. It's a little nerve wracking because you're performing a lot of the same duties that you do out of the wing, but it's just uh, here for test. Uh, Colonel Dustin Harmon, the commander of the 377th Test and Evaluation Group here at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. So this, this is a huge event, um, and we do use um, partners across the world. I'd like to, uh, to say that we are an Air Force organization on a Space Force base, launching a missile from the Space Force base, flying across the Navy range, landing at an Army range, and using the, the Coast Guard to help uh, support us in, in maritime uh, law enforcement. And so I don't think you get a whole lot uh, more joint than we are here. Ground power off. Item 99, MCO, report system status. MCO, system status ready. Item 102, rock, confirm range is green. So we're listening to the countdown net over the radio. So we have the countdown control officer is one of the positions that, that the 576 flight test squadron uh, mans. And you'll hear them start to go through certain things. They'll, you'll hear things say, uh, terminal count entered. Item 104, terminal count entered. So terminal count is just before the, the story is doing its final things. Umbilicals are retracting. Uh, you'll hear the launcher closure door. You'll hear them announce the launcher closure door is open. So it blows that 110 ton door off the top of the launch facility. Item 106, launcher closure door open. Um, then you hear first stage ignition to missile. Item 107, first stage ignition to missile. And about that time, you'll the sky will light up and you'll see the, the orange glow. And very shortly after that, you'll see the missile. And you'll see the missile for probably from the, from the viewing site I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds before you hear it. The ground will shake, you hear the sound, and off it goes.